Hi guys, I am very, very excited and happy today because I just received my order from Captain Haji. In this video, I'm gonna do an unboxing video. Okay, so that means today I'm gonna do an unboxing video for the first time. I'm really not sure what I'm gonna do here. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to open the box. So I ordered this a few days ago from Kapin Haagi. If you want, you can check them out on the website. I posted the link below. So that's Kapin Haagi. They're actually located in Erfurt here in Germany. They got the payment from my PayPal account. They started to send a package, which is good. I paid it a couple of days ago and now it's here. Let's open the box. I think I should be sitting while doing this, but I don't know. I'm too lazy to set up the camera again. You already guessed, you know, the airplanes are inside this box. This is the second time that I've ordered from them, and they're very consistent with their packaging. The packaging is really, really good. And they also have the rational in the package that means that the bill which i already paid by the way but it's just for for the record you know I ordered uh tilancha bulboza mexico venezuela and uh tilancha assortment tilancha and terrarium Funf Arten, that means five sorts of tilanchas that are suited for terrariums. And so yeah, this came from Herford, Germany. And it says here, rationing speed drug in euro per PayPal, per PayPal bit sad. That means I already paid it. The bill, this is the bill, and the cost is in euros, and I already paid it through PayPal. That's what it means, nothing I'm just saying. I love these things, like the styro thing. So cute. You can save them, I can use it if I'm gonna transfer to another apartment or to another place and I need to bring my airplanes, of course. I can use them. We've got these things on top and then the tilanches are wrapped around some sort of paper, which is good because it's, it keeps them safe, you know? I'm so excited to see what they look like. First, first one. And da -da -da. I didn't wait, I can just put a uh, music on. Okay, I wonder what this is. I see something red. It's either blushing or it's already blooming. Oh, it's already blooming. <laughs> This is a Tilantia flabulata. I'm just acting smart. I'm really, I really at first don't know what it is. There's a label. It's flabulata. This is maybe one of the five five kinds of airplanes for terrariums that I ordered. You see, this one is already in bloom. These are the flowers, but they haven't actually popped out yet. It's not really that bad, look. It's kind of injured, so to speak. And it's kind of dry at the tips, but I think it's just normal. I don't know if it's because of the packaging or because it took a long time to have it packed. I don't know. Anyway, um, it's not that bad. It's actually, actually good, like, and it's blooming, like a plus, Thing. It's an excellent one. This is also a big one. It's a long one. It's not supposed to be the same because it says five kinds of terrarium airplanes. Cool. This guy's a big look. And it's also blushing. Okay, the last time that I bought airplanes from Katinagi. Uh, I bought uh, Tilancia Funkiana from them and it was already blushing and 
not it was already blooming and it already has pops when I got that from them so it's really good it's like I paid a small price for a lot of plants that's already blooming I don't know if it's a good thing because that means they're already old I mean I think it's good because you don't need to wait for a long time for it to bloom you know this is a Telangia polystachia so as you can see it already has a, a bud here you can't see it but there's a bud here in the middle so it's about a flower it's about to bloom this is the first time that I've got this kind of plant that's another good thing about Gaktin Hagi because they've, they're sending air plants that are not so common. The species that they send you and the species that they have on the website for you to order are not so common species that you can see in stores. It's a good thing. If you order in sets or in packs, like what I did, like if you're gonna order a set of five, air plants for example that are good for terrariums or a set of air plants that are good for this and that you're going to be rest assured that they're going to send you the best of their air plants so another one we have here is this is a Tilantia festocoides at first when i saw it i thought it's a Tilantia juncifolia you know like the one that i have they look the same but this one is smaller and that one is bigger the juncifolia is a lot bigger and it has um, the leaves are a bit more stiff this one it also has needle like leaves like the juncifolia but this one is its leaves are not so stiff i'm not sure if this is a natural blush or it's really about to bloom because frankly speaking if this is displayed in the store you have to be you know careful buying it and make sure that it's really blushing that they didn't like spray a red color or something or a tint on the plant just to show that it's blushing because usually they do that oh, the next one is so cute look now this one is a Tilantia bulbosa oh, look it's so small this is the first time that i've seen this in person in person I thought that Tilantia bulbosas are big. I don't know if this is gonna go grow bigger, if this is just a pop, not so sure. But I really expect it to be bigger than this. I expect it to be somewhat the same size of the Tilantia Caput Medusa. This one still has roots under it, see? It still has roots. So I don't usually cut the roots because they add up to the natural look of the plant so I don't usually cut them off so as you already know it's it's okay to cut off the roots of the air plants because they don't really need it to absorb nutrients like in the previous videos that I showed you I'm supposed to receive six who got one two three four okay two more to go two more This one looks familiar. This is a Tilantia punctulata. Looks really healthy, it just needs to be soaked in water. If you just got your air plants, if you've ordered them online, and the first thing that you need to do when you receive them is to soak them in water for five hours or so, because you don't really know how long they've been away or because you're not really sure how long they've received water and they're inside the box for a long time and they haven't had um, enough air circulation so just to make sure that they're not going to dry out the first thing you need to do is to soak them in water for a few hours see this one also has roots in it it's cool the last but not the least ah uh, look we already got one of these it's a uh, Tilantia brachycaulus verde abdita. Okay, so it's like a um, variation of two species. So it's a brachycaulus that looks something like an abdita. Look, it looks healthy as well. Okay guys, 
so that's it <laughs> again if you want to check out of uh, Katin Haagi you can go to Katin haagide to check out the website and to check out what they are selling there so they don't only sell air plants they also sell cactuses you know as you can guess the name is Katin that means cactuses okay so other than air plants they also sell cacti and succulents they have um, a list of the species of cacti and succulents and air plants and you can just choose from any of them you can just order them in, in sets or whatever you want they have everything they also have accessories there for your plants and fertilizers so i think it's better if you create an account for them because you will be guided through the checkout faster to check out process faster and in addition you can also um, store multiple shipping addresses and track orders in your account so i think that would be easier if you have an account with them so that's it thank you very much for watching this video i'm gonna go ahead and soak my new babies and i can't wait to see how i can display them of course i'm gonna post them on my instagram account the athletes from Valencia. Check them out. You can see all of my airplanes there and how I display them. So I'll see you on the next video. Bye guys.